Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. So as you guys already saw, Ford just unveiled all the horsepower and torque specs for their four engines. Four. That's a lot. And what's even crazier than that is they have a spec of Super Duty that can tow up to 40,000 pounds. Now, let's just say you don't really need to tow that much weight. They also have a spec of Super Duty that has payload up to 8,000 pounds. But let's go ahead and go through the horsepower and torque numbers because I have them memorized and I'm, I'm probably gonna forget if I don't go over them right now. So starting off is a 6.8 liter V8 gas engine. Now, unfortunately I was building some trucks online and it looks like the XL is the only trim available with the 6.8 liter. If you get an XLT and up, it shows the 7.3 liter to be the standard engine. Now that's not bad by any means. Don't get me wrong, that's actually great news. However, I was really hoping to see that 6.8 liter on other trim levels, at least as a standard equipment. But that engine is gonna have 405 horsepower, 445 pound-feet of torque. The 7.3 liter is the next one up. It's gonna be a gas engine. It's gonna have 430 horsepower and it's gonna have 485 pound-feet of torque. Now, the first diesel option, which is now known as the standard output power stroke is going to have 475 horsepower 1050 pound feet of torque so nothing has changed there the next one up is going to be the high output power stroke this is going to be standard on the limited trim it's available on every other trim now this engine is going to have you ready for this? 500 horsepower and 1,200 pound-feet of torque. And I feel like I need to say this for anyone who might be jumping ship for RAM. If you get a 250 or 350, you can get the high output power stroke. With RAM, you couldn't get the high output on a three-quarter ton. It only came available on the one tons, rightfully so, because that powertrain is strictly for heavy towing, typically all the time. Now, something else that Ford has done, and I'm glad they did this, if you get an XLT and up, you get four-wheel drive standard. I don't know why manufacturers haven't done that earlier on. Like, I think four-wheel drive is just necessary for a pickup truck. Now, I'm sure you guys saw my title, my thumbnail. I think that Ford is going to give Ram a really tough year. Unless Ram comes in with some rebates, and some crazy zero for 84 months or something. It's gonna be really hard to not jump ship because as you know, Ford's prices have gone up. We know that's gonna happen, obviously. They redesigned the truck and they have new engine choices with more horsepower. I'm okay with that. However, Ram, I'm a huge Ram fanboy, despite me owning a GMC. They've done nothing to the powertrain and they really haven't done anything to the truck besides add a digital cluster and they changed the tow mirrors and the price of the trucks have jumped up significantly. So this Ford I'm going to build is basically what I built on a Ram platform. That Ram was over $109,000. Nothing has changed with the truck. I'm going to build this Ford, which now, even though I still think Ram has the best interiors, it doesn't matter anymore because all of them are good now. So this is just a personal preference now. It's not clear that Ram has the best interior. They all look good. Let's build this truck. So this is the truck we're gonna build. This is the color. If I were to buy a Ford truck right now, it would 100% be this. Now, before I put any options or anything on this truck, this price is $100,060. But let me go back because I might've done something. So let's just show you the pricing for the truck before you add anything to it. So F-350 Limited is $97,270. Now, that price that you saw, that was going to include destination. So destination is gonna be $1,795, okay? There's no options, there's no accessories, there's no incentives, obviously. So $99,065 is the price. Now, if you want that really pretty color, I think it's azure, azure, I think it's how you say that, azure gray, is $995. That color makes this truck. It really does. And quite honestly, the only other color I like is the star white. 
and I really think if I were to get this truck, it would be this color. It just looks absolutely stunning. So the high output power stroke is standard. And that's something you have to really take note of when you're building your truck from the factory. Like a lot of people like to step down to the platinum because they see, oh, this truck is actually a little bit cheaper. Let me buy this one and then add a bunch of options to it. And then by the time the truck gets there, it's only like three to $4,000 cheaper than what you could have got a limited for. And that's kind of the great thing about this uh, limited. You don't have to add anything to it because everything comes standard. I mean, when you think about the power deployable running boards, the interior is completely immaculate. Already has the panoramic sunroof. So you literally can just buy the truck and add no options to it. But we're going to add some options to this one. But you do get a premium front grille, accents on this truck, and the wheel design is different from all the others. So it does set you apart a little bit. So before you start adding a bunch of options, unless you want the trimmer, I can understand that. But before you buy a Platinum, I would definitely take a really good look at the Limited. We've already mentioned that full wheel drive is going to be standard, 10-speed transmission. Something that's pretty cool is you cannot get a 355. I guess it's not cool, but it makes sense because you have so much horsepower and torque now. You don't need to gear this truck any lower. And I like that Ford did that because now you can really try to target better fuel economy while you're driving. Now, the only package I would probably get is this FX4. Everything else, I mean, still plow, uh, heavy service front suspension, those things aren't really needed for this type of truck. So I would definitely just pick this one. And here's what you're going to get. You're going to get that electronic locking diff in the rear, all-terrain tires from the factory. And so you really could just buy the truck and not have to worry about buying something after the fact. Moving on down to the exterior, here's an idea what the wheels look, tires that you're going to get, and you're going to get the pretty much power folding mirrors, all that good stuff, pretty much everything you've seen in the past. Nothing's really changed there, and as I mentioned, those running boards are standard. They do have some splash guards here, and some of these things here are just uh, extra accessory things, like this is a toolbox, uh, tonneau covers. Now, I will say, this is unchanged from 2022, you do have to click spray and bed liner. Another thing I would recommend obviously is going to be the uh, trailer tire pressure monitoring. That's $500. And pretty much everything that you see here is going to be standard. So nothing really to see other than what you want to add. Like So if you want to get the wheel well liners, which I recommend 100%. And what is it saying here? It's saying remove the rear one. So you do get one standard in the rear, but this adds front and rear. And from there, really, everything is just, again, add-on. So you have a gooseneck hitch kit. So this is not really anything that you would really need. And uh, I definitely recommend getting an engine block heater. This is something that's good to have. Uh, you can get a worn winch. Isn't that something? That's pretty funny. So you can get the worn winch with this truck. Um, it looks like you can also get it with the power stroke, too. And I don't know if I mentioned, but panoramic sunroof included. And there's not a lot of stuff. They do have power takeoff. Uh, the skid plates are already included in there. Uh, I always get clearance lamps. Uh, it's the HD truck, so it, it, needs, it needs that. But look at this interior. This is where I think the Ford is just really stepping their game up. Like, this is, this is something else right here. And so, again, I don't think that it's the best but it doesn't really matter anymore buy what gives you the better deal and max recline seats come with part of this i would recommend getting the all-weather floor mats and i want to say that's pretty much it i would get the dual batteries which is included and i think there's a dual alternator option too they do give you the upfitter switches did i miss the dual alternator i may have but yeah, if there is an option for dual alternators, click that box. I always recommend getting that, especially if you tow a trailer. They do have this rapid heat supplement. Um, so if it's really cold in your climate, I would just recommend getting that. That way you can get instant heat when you jump in the truck. Premium sound system is standard. And of course you get the, the big screen with the Sync 4, all that good stuff. So we're at, let's see, where are we at? All the way down at the bottom, $3,600 in options. We're at $102,735. So let me get this straight. I built a 2023 Ram for $109,000. Let's just say 110 because it's pretty much rounded off there. 
this Ford has been redesigned. I'll put that in quotations for a second. New powertrains, more power, uh, a lot more safety features, a lot more uh, cool features that I would say that I would like to see in my next truck. And their truck is still cheaper. And that's my problem with Ram right now. When I did a video uh, about pricing out the new Ram, I literally had sticker shock. Like I, I laughed. Like I thought they were joking with me. I thought that they built a, a Charger Hellcat or something like that and added a bunch of stuff to it. But this truck with a redesign is cheaper. Now we'll say I'm mad about Ford not changing the cabs in the bed. They haven't really done anything on the truck. They just changed the front clip and the rear. And that's what Ram did back in 2019. And I guess it doesn't really matter because the interior is all redone and essentially it's a different truck, but it's still cheaper than Ram's. So now I'm gonna show you really quickly a 2022 build because Ram still has not unveiled for 2023. So you can't go online and build it. And it's missing one package that I'll show you. And I'm gonna show you two F450s. I'm gonna show you a 2022 because you can still build them online and I'll show you a 2023 so you guys can get a price comparison. Then that'll pretty much end the video. So we won't take too much time with this, but this is gonna be a 2022 Ram 3500 mega cab. I have pretty much every option on there, like the high output Cummins and air suspension, which is how I would buy it. Actually, I would even add the dual alternators too. But the only package that's not showing up is a limited level one equipment group. And that package is about thirty-five to four thousand dollars for a 2022, but it's gonna be like almost seven grand for a 2023. So that's why the price point is so much higher on this truck. In my opinion, I just think that the Ford is a better buy because Ram hasn't really done anything for this truck to warrant a bigger price increase versus the 2022. I just wanted to show you the starting price without destination. It's going to be $103,030. I'm going to go ahead and build the truck and put all the options on and I'll compare the 2022 and 23. So I picked out a, this is, this is rapid red metallic, 495 was a color. Now let's just go all the way down to the bottom. So just really quickly, I got the FX4 package. I got the tough bed and the individual tire pressure monitoring for the trailer, a wheel wheel liner for the front, engine block heater, and all of the floor mats. That's all I added to this truck. And it's $107,325. So let me get this straight. A L450 Limited is cheaper than a mega cab single rear wheel truck. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm just trying to tell you Ram's going to have a tough year if they don't do something with these prices. So this is the pricing for the 2022. So this is the all-in price, 102 325 You just saw, if you were looking at a 2023, it was 107 That's not a huge jump, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's not a big jump in price. And I have the same options, FX4, Bedliner, Tire pressure monitoring for the trailer, wheel well liners, engine block heater, and it was just the alternator. I did a dual alternator and 135 for the all-weather floor mats. Same stuff. That's, you know, round, let's round off $5,000. That's it. That's all you're seeing in a price difference. And that's pretty much it. I think that Ford, granted, all these trucks are just way too overpriced. I think Ford did a pretty darn good job because they did a lot to their trucks to justify the cost. And I just think that Ram's gonna have a lot on their plate if they don't figure out a way to maybe get these prices down. Maybe, just maybe, the pricing is wrong and they're gonna come back and say, actually, the trucks aren't that expensive. I hope that's what happens because you've done nothing to the truck to justify a price hike for 2023. See you in the next video.